What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm doing something a little bit stupid. I'm gonna be honest, it's not my best and brightest idea in the world, but today I'm gonna be 3D printing an Air Jordan 1. I don't know how yet, but we're gonna figure it out. So I actually just unboxed this 3D printing pen on my second channel. If you guys wanna check that out, there'll be a link in the top of the description. We uh, made, I guess, abstract art, if you wanna call it that. Um, so after trying to create a small Air Jordan 1, I figured why not, you know, go big on the main channel and try something that's absolutely doomed. Like, this is not gonna work out at all. But hey, you know what? Let's try it. And seriously, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my second channel. That's where I do a lot of like fun, random, non-sneaker stuff. So if you guys wanna check any of that stuff out, it's definitely worth looking at. And originally I was gonna try and 3D print a shoe without a shape underneath it or any kind of form underneath it. And I realized that's gonna be close to impossible and I'm not skilled enough to do that. So instead what I'm gonna do is possibly ruin one of my favorite pairs of shoes and 3D print over top of it. I've seen a lot of people do this online already. I'm not the first person to do this. There's people who 3D print Yeezys by printing over top of one. I think I'm actually the first person to do a pair of Air Jordan 1s, which I guess is something. It's gonna be a lot of material. I didn't realize how big this shoe was until I held it. <laughs> so I'm regretting that now. Also, right when I was ready to use the pen, it goes into red mode, which means it's not hot enough to use yet, which is kind of BS because I was just using it a second ago, so that's great. Well, I guess this is a perfect opportunity to explain to you what 3D printing is if you don't already know what it is. Basically, the way a 3D printer works is it takes thin pieces of plastic, which we've got right here in the back of the pen, and heats them up to a point where they start melting, and then what it does is it acts kind of like a printer and starts printing out an image on a flat surface, but instead of just printing that image once, it actually starts layering it to create a 3D image. And usually the way this works is that the extruder, which is the part that actually extrudes the material at the tip of this pen, is held in place by some motors and a computer tells the motors where to go so you get a very precise image. But in the case of this pen, I'm the motor and I'm the one that controls where it goes. So it's not going to be very precise and it's going to be much more difficult than just watching a computer print something out. So um, this is going to be a process and it might take a couple hours, but I'm going to speed it up for you guys. <laughs> okay, so now it's finally heated back up. Let's uh. Let's start doing this. And I guess the way that I'm gonna start doing this is by tracing the midsole because the kind of plastic that I have in the pen right now is white plastic and it'll match the midsole. So um, let's just go for it and hope that this doesn't burn my shoe. <laughs> Here we go. This is so much harder than I thought it would be. So at this point, all I've really done is sort of traced the lateral side of the shoe or the top part of the midsole on the lateral side of the shoe and it didn't go very well. So, uh, this is gonna be just a chore, isn't it? Let's keep going. I screwed up. So the idea is I wanna trace the outer edges of the part of the shoe that I'm trying to fill in and then fill in that part. It's really hard to kind of hold the shoe with one hand and spin it and then trace with the other hand. So that's sort of the main struggle for me right now. And then the, uh, the PLA doesn't, Pull down that quickly so it gets stuck to the extruder head. So messy. Ugh. Dang. Well, there's sort of a close up. I guess let's keep going. I'm gonna try and fill in between the lines now, see what happens. It's all starting to get bunched up and pull each other, pull all the pieces off, which is kind of annoying. So if you're wondering, Here's progress so far. Um, I would say the progress is going poor. <laughs> if I had to give you an exact uh, rating. Um, I need to refill this pen again. This is my last thing of white, um, or no, I've got a couple more things of white PLA, which is the plastic that we use in the pen. There's PLA and ABS. I forget what the, the characteristics of each one is, but I think I prefer PLA, but I don't remember why. I actually used to 3D print a lot when I was working professionally as an industrial designer, but back then I would do all of the 3D in CAD and then have a computer do it, which was a lot easier than what I'm doing right now. So. <laughs> this is just a mess. Honestly, in my head, I thought this would be a lot easier. And I should have known from doing that other video that this is like a pretty difficult thing to do. But I saw everyone else's video and they were so good at it. They must have practiced. I didn't really practice. <laughs> I probably should have. I'm gonna try and go over some of the parts that I screwed up to try and even them out. But uh, I have a feeling this is just not gonna work. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do is try and, I guess, peel it off and see um, if I can, and if I didn't ruin my shoe, so let's try that. Oh man, I think we have something here. I think we did it, oh. I think we did it, guys. It's definitely, oh, shh. It didn't ruin the shoe, which is good, but it's definitely crumpled. I think we 3D printed a midsole. Oh shoot, I broke it on this side, which sucks, but 
I think we did it. I mean, it's ugly. It's real ugly, but it's coming off. Holy crap. I can't believe we did it. <laughs> Look at that. We 3D printed a midsole. That's insane. Oh, I should have left this on because then I could have done the outsole. Shoot. <laughs> I really can't. I'm going to try and fix part of it and see if that, ha if that works, but I may actually make it worse. Look at that. That is so wild. I mean, it's messy. You're right. No, it's messy. and It kind of sucks, but like, it's possible. I kind of want to do it again and try and make it better. Or is that just a waste of time and materials? So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to start filling in the shoe itself. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do next is actually do the mud guard of the shoe in black right here. And now I don't have enough black to actually do all the black panels on the shoe, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't have enough of any color to kind of do any normal Jordan colorway. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is try and do the parts of the shoe. Maybe I could do one side of the shoe in black and then the other side in a different color. Now because I switched out the color of the plastic, I actually have to rerun the pen and kind of let the, the white that's still in there kind of work its way out. Okay, so I think the lateral side of the shoe worked out better than the medial side of the shoe because I was running out of, <laughs> of uh, material. It definitely gives the shoe like a unique sort of like hairy look, which I'm not a huge fan of. <laughs> <laughs> but it's interesting. What I want to try now is kind of fill in the uh, the toe with some clear plastic because I feel like that'd be kind of cool. So let's do that. Let me grab the clear plastic. Oh, dude, I could use clear blue. That would be sick. Let's try that. Oh, I'm running out of material. I didn't even notice. Okay, so let me let this cool for a second and then I'll go back over it again. Then I kind of want to pull it off and see what it looks like. So here's what I have so far. Um, it's interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Now let me pull it off. I want to see how it looks. I want to see if it ruined the leather, and I want to see if it actually will come off. So this is definitely the side that I did the best on. Because of that, it's really hard to peel off. Oh, shoot, I broke it a little bit. Not terrible, but a little bit. Dang. I did kind of pull off some of the paint on the shoe, but it's not the worst. Um, here's what we have so far for the toe box. Kind of cool, kind of uh, interesting how that came out. Before I move any farther, I kind of want to glue it onto the rest of the midsole to see how it works. That's kind of cool, that's kind of weird and interesting. Okay, so at this point, because it's taking so long to do this shoe, I think I'm gonna time lapse the rest of it, and I'm just gonna do a low top Air Jordan 1 because I don't want to spend all day and all night doing this. So I'm going to do this part of the shoe, I guess both sides, and then maybe do an outsole, but that's about it. So you guys will see this in a super fast time lapse, and I'll be sitting here for the next probably two hours drawing on a shoe. So at this point, we've got all the parts of the shoe that I'm willing to make. I'm not gonna make a tongue because I'm lazy and it would take hours. So what I'm gonna do now is take these three parts and glue them together with, I guess, a clear piece of PLA, which is almost gonna act exactly like a glue stick. It is essentially a glue stick at this point. This was a giant waste of time. All right, so it looks like we've got the toe box glued to the midsole. Now let's try and glue the rest of the upper. <laughs> oh, this is a mistake. I should've done this very differently.
Uh, so as painful as a process as this is or was, um, I feel like I'm already most of the way there and rather than just stopping now, I should finish it off. And I don't feel like I need a tongue to finish it off, but I do feel like it's probably necessary to add an outsole or at least as much of an outsole as I can add. So um, I guess I should spend the next 30 minutes doing that. Oh man, this is trash. This is garbage. So I definitely spent more time on the bottom half of the shoe than the top half, but that's okay. <laughs> we are going to just add maybe a layer to kind of even everything out, and then we're going to uh, glue it onto the bottom of the actual 3D printed shoe. So let me get to that. Okay, so here is the outsole. Um, kind of sucks. <laughs> really sucks. Um, but hey, it was fast. That's all that matters. So let's glue it to the actual upper of the shoe. Okay, so at this point, we've got all the pieces that I'm kind of willing to make. I would make a tongue, but uh, I just don't feel like it because this took hours to do and it doesn't look great. So we're sticking with this. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually glue the outsole to the midsole. And the nice thing about that is that it will give this shoe a little bit more rigidity. It's not going to be as flimsy as it is right now because right now it's very flimsy even though you've got a ton of different pieces kind of all meshed together. So let me knock this out and then we'll take a final look. So now, like four hours later, we are finally done with the 3D printed Royal One uh, low top because I'm too lazy to make it a high top. Although a high top probably would look better. This shoe came out so much worse than I was expecting, to be honest. And not only that, it actually also kind of ruined my pair of Royals because now there's like heat marks all over it and like zigzag formations and it looks terrible, but it is what it is. I'm gonna beat up that pair anyway as I wear it, so I guess it's not the worst thing in the world, but it does still kind of suck. And what came out of it? A weird 3D printed shoe that just never needed to be made. So, um, hey, you know what? At least we know it can be done. I don't know why you'd ever wanna do this. Making a 3D printed Air Jordan 1 Royal is just completely unnecessary. It's not like you can wear it and I wouldn't wear this. Even though I said earlier that I wanted to try this on, it's gonna break as soon as I try it on, and I spent so much time making it, I just, I'm not willing to risk it. I mean, it's cool, at the end of the day, it does look like an interesting abstract art piece, but um, I would never do this again. I would never put myself through this again. It really felt like I was using a glue stick to create this, and not a 3D printer. If you wanna try this for yourself, great. I left a link to the 3D printer pen in the top of the description. If you don't wanna try this for yourself, you're making a smart choice, this isn't worth it. But now, I would love to know your thoughts on this 3D printed sneaker and whether you'd ever consider doing this for yourself. Don't, it's not worth it. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you have any other ideas for videos that you would like to see me do, whether it's design related or sneaker related. I'd love to hear all your ideas. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.